Well. Kindly greetings, the honorable judges. This presentation has been prepared by the U for Impact Group uh, for the Global Design Evaluation Competition. So as a background, the COVID-19 pandemic brings a wave of new thinking for the evolution globally. So for that matter, there are new challenges and opportunities for the emerging evaluators, which they must adapt uh, with innovation in the evaluation practice. So as a result, police is hosting an evaluation design, which um, it attracts evaluators, young evaluators all over the world. So this presentation specifically was set out to develop a forward-looking evaluation approach that focuses on the development of an impact or quasi-experimental evaluation design. So the participants, which is Wanda, Lissidi, and Fernanda, will develop this evaluation for Play Africa, a South African NGO and social enterprise dedicated to creating child-centered spaces and experimental learning activities. So meet the evaluation, uh, Team, which is Youth for Impact team. On my right, on my left hand side is Fernanda from UK and is an ME specialist for this project. She's also working as a research analyst at ITED in, in UK. In the middle is Lucidi Matlala, is also working at Shared Education Service as an evaluator. And for this project, is working as an ME specialist and a team leader as well. On my left hand side is Wanda Mayemba, is an economist for this project and is also working at an Underhill Corporate Solution as a researcher. So about Play Africa, as I've mentioned, is a non-profit company and social enterprise dedicated to creating child-centered spaces that sparks creativity and learning through hands-on and experimental activities. So sustainability is the core principle that guides what they do. The focus is on three areas, which is organizational, environmental, and community. So from here, I'll hand on to my colleague, Fernanda, which will take us through the theory of change. Thank you, Lisette. So um, looking at the theory of change, you can see that the organizational activities will be aimed at achieving four main outcomes. And this will not only benefit the children who attend the programs, but also the families, communities, educators, and wider society. So from a, our initial document review, we have mapped out seven different programs that are part of Play Africa. Uh, two of them, Children's Voice in Bridge, Bridges of Peace, are programs that were created um, with the, the, the beginning of the, the organization. Uh, the beneficiaries of the, the, beneficiaries, um, of the program are children who, are ta who take part on the activities of the, by the organization, their families or caregivers who have an opportunity to learn techniques that could be applied at home. And finally, the educators that are involved in the capacity building and workshops about play playful learning. So far, our understanding is that the learning framework and the theory of change are the strategic backbone that guides what Play Africa do as an organization, whereas the programs are how they operationalize the activities to achieve outcomes and impact. Thus, to measure impact and provide useful recommendations that will inform future programming, this evaluation will focus on these three different components, so on the learning framework, the theory of change, and the programs. So our proposed approach, um, so basically a little bit about evaluation and development, as we, we all might know, the evaluation of development programs and, and projects is focused normally in describing, judging, and explaining what has been done, how activities have been performed, what has been achieved, and to determine what, which future prospects of options may exist. In this context, we will conduct an impact evaluation, including elements of past experimental design. So this diagram um, basically shows our approach to this evaluation. Um, this evaluation will be formative, so meaning that the um, the results will inform future and program. Um, it will be utilization focused and participatory, which means that the stakeholders will be involved through the whole um, cycle of the project from inception to learning and dissemination, and will be an impact evaluation with a quasi-experimental design. Um, as you can see in the evaluation framework, we divided um, the, the uh, evaluation questions in three different work streams. The first work stream will focus on the design, how the programs and, and the, the, the organization is designed. So focus on the learning framework, theory of change, um, and uh, programs. The implementation um, work stream, which will basically be looking at how the, the programs will, how have been implemented, and the results that we'll be looking at, the outcomes and impact, and also 
um, the learning part, which will be looking at how these programs can be improved. Um, in the bottom here, we talk about the data collection methods and tools and deliverables, but those will be mentioned later on in this presentation. So a, a, bit, a brief um, explanation of, of the evaluation questions as you can um, investigate them a bit more closer in this, in this um, slide. And also just a, an over, overall summary. So mainly um, the purpose of this evaluation is to define the casual attribution links between outcomes and impacts of the Play Africa programs and draw lessons and recommendations that will be useful for strengthening its ongoing interventions. And we also conduct evaluative work to find out how uh, to what extent the learning framework and the theory of change are still fit for purpose. So in the evaluation design, um, as, as I previously mentioned, we decided to go for a quasi-experimental design that aims at observing what would have happened in the absence of the ethic programs combined with a validation of the theory of change, um, casual relationships. I'll pass over to Lesette to talk a bit more about the data collection Thank you methods. Very much, and because now we understand the approach that we've employed for this particular program, now it's important for us to understand the data collection methods and data analysis methods that we're going to use to collect data and analyze data for this particular method. So here we have, we have updated a mixed methods uh, approach. So we're going to use quantitative methods and qualitative methods. Our quantitative methods would be mainly about survey, in-depth interviews and focus group discussion, which is based on primary research. Our quantitative methods are based on secondary research and they will be mainly about desktop research, document review, and literature review. So for our data analysis methods, how we're going to analyze our data, for qualitative data, we're going to use thematic contact analysis uh, approach to analyze our qualitative data. For our quantitative data, we're going to use a software called Statistics Package for Social Sciences, known as SPSS. Uh, we're, going, we're also again to use SurveyMonkey for the survey data that we're going to design. And for, for, for reliability and validity and transfer, transferability, we're going to triangulate our data. I'll hand over again to our colleague, Fernanda. Thank you, Lasset. So on the project timeline, um, as you can see, we, we're planning to start the work in August and the work will go all the, the, whole, the whole way through March next year. So we're going to divide the evaluation in four different phases, inception, data collection, analysis and synthesis, and learning and dissemination. So um, inceptions will run from August until September. Uh, data collection from uh, the end of September until November, the end of November. The analysis and synthesis from December to January, and, and finally, learning and dissemination from February to March. So we're gonna be, there are some deliverables that we're gonna be um, handing to the client uh, on this timeline. So first, the inception report at the end of the inception phase. Second, the raw survey data once we finish the um, data collection. Third, we aim to have a revised theory of change. Um, so with the participation of the stakeholders, we will, throughout the analysis of the data, uh, put together some of the hypotheses and bring it back to them too, so we can have a look and validate the existing theory of change and perhaps um, revise the existing one. And, and finally, we're going to be delivering the evaluation report in January. and. Um, in the dissemination and learning phase, we aim to deliver a slide deck with the recommendations in our webinar that anyone can, will be able to access as it's going to be a virtual event. On the team, evaluation days and rates, as uh, previously, previously said, um, the, our team is composed of three team members. The fourth team member that was assigned to this um, work didn't participate so we're going to be hiring someone external um, to join the team in the inception phase so we're going to um, discuss this with the with play africa and decide what's the best um, skill that we should be looking for um, we believe that a quantitative specialist will bring a lot to the game here and we we aim to um, be hiring a person with this expertise so as you can see, the total of the project is 320,000 and we aim uh, to deliver this project in eight months. We've looked at value for money, so we're going to be using majority um, local consultancies, consultants in South Africa. So we all have to have the, 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 the flight 
expense from international consultants. So, and, and it obviously draw on the expertise and knowledge. I think that's it. I hope we were successful in explaining how this journey will lead to a, a well thought evaluation for the Play Africa organization. And if you, we're looking forward to receiving your questions, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, one second.